Welcome to this Easter bunny cake tutorial. I've designed this cake so that it's hopefully pretty simple to make and you don't need too much equipment. So I'm going to start with the ears. I made these a few days beforehand so they firmed up so they're easier to handle when you're assembling your cake. To make the ears, roll out some fondant. If your fondant's sticking to your surface or your hands, dust the surface in your hands with some icing sugar and you should uh, find it a lot easier if it is sticky. Roll it out to about three millimeters, not too thin, um, and then we're going to cut sort of some petal shapes for the ears. So I'm using a circle cutter. If you don't have a circle cutter, you could cut round a small bowl or something that you have handy in the kitchen or around the house. Um, I'm placing this on top and cutting it like this so that I get them the same size. You don't have to do that if you're worried about your fondant sticking together. And of course you could just roll out your fondant and make two petal shapes by eye and just cut them with a knife. And then we're going to repeat this process with some pink fondant for the inner ears. It's very easy to colour white fondant pink and you can easily get hold of um, pink gel food colourings in their supermarkets or online. So again, roll it out, not too thin to make those petal shapes. And then we're nearly done, just cut the bottoms off like this. And then I've used cake pop sticks. And I'm just going to fix those to the backs, the white bit of the ears. And you can use either some edible glue if you have it, or just a little bit of water will do fine to stick those in place and to keep the pink bit in place as well. And once you've done that, take a knife or if you've got a, a cutting tool, just feather the edges a little bit to give it a bit of texture and then just squeeze them together at the bottom to create that cute bunny ear. And you can make these maybe just the day before. And then take one of your ears and you can just curl the edge down just to give your bunny a little bit of character and just leave that to set overnight. The next thing we're going to do, again, you can do this the day before, is make the bunny feet. So about a golf ball size, roll it into a cone and then press it down. Take some of your pink fondant, maybe like a blueberry size, roll it into a ball and just Squish that to make a circle and pop it on your little foot. And then take some pea size pieces of fondant and repeat the process for the other little pads. Very simple. And there are your feet. For the face, there's a few options. I know not everybody has black fondant in their house. It's quite hard to colour black fondant and you don't want to buy a big block of the stuff. So you can use pink fondant or maybe a big chocolate button. Let's make the nose first. Maybe like a Maltese size of pink fondant and just shape it into a cone and then indent it like that to make a heart shape. And then the cheeks, very simple, just two circles of pink fondant. So I'm making my eyes with the black fondant, but you can use maybe a darker pink. Cut out two circles. If you don't have a circle cutter, you could try maybe cutting round something, a small container, or using the lid of something. Make two semicircles like this, and just curl out those edges of the eye. And then again, leave those to set. If you leave them overnight, They'll be easier to handle when you assemble your cake. And here, if you want to do like a chocolate button eye, you can just cut the button like that. To make the buttercream to cover the cake, use some sort of room temperature butter, not too soft. I'm using 400 grams of butter and 400 grams of icing sugar. Start slowly with either a hand mixer or your standing mixer, and then speed it up. Beat that buttercream until it's really pale and nice and fluffy. It doesn't look that pale here, but it is going paler. If you have any white food colouring, you could add that as well. But it's not necessary. But if you have it handy, why not? 
and that'll make it a little bit paler. Now to assemble the cake, we've got our buttercream and I'm also going to put some little treats, some little Easter chocolate eggs in the middle of my cake. I'm just going to use the circle cutter just to give me a guide of where to cut. You could do it by eye or um, find a container and cut round. And we're just going to cut out the middle. And push through that piece and keep it because we're going to use it very shortly. And repeat that process with your other cake. So we're going to put some buttercream on the bottom of our cake board or plate, whatever you're using. And place the cake a little bit back so that you've got space to put the feet and any other maybe little decorations you want to put on there. And we're going to sandwich together with some buttercream the two cakes. And then pop in your treats. Using the piece of cake we cut out for the circle, you can put that in the middle there. So you don't have a whole big hole in the top of your cake. And then using a knife or a palette knife, start to crumb coat your cake. We just want a thin layer of buttercream, fill in all those gaps around the bottom. And what we're going to do is cover the cake thinly with buttercream and then put it in the fridge for maybe about 30 minutes to an hour, just so that that buttercream hardens and sets. So we have a good base coat for the topping. So once it's been in the fridge for about an hour, we're going to cover it again with a much thicker layer of buttercream. The same buttercream, but now we're getting a nice coating and we're not getting any crumbs off the cake. And you can go all the way around using a knife or a palette knife. It doesn't have to be super neat. Now we're going to add our fluffy texture. Just take a butter knife and just gently pat the cake all the way around with the knife. I think this is possibly the easiest bit and it does create a very cute little textured effect. And then we're nearly finished. Once you've done all that patting and got the texture how you like it, you can start to assemble your cake. Bear in mind when you put your ears in that in the middle you've got your treats, so try and avoid those because the ears probably won't go through the chocolate eggs. And then using the middle of the cake, middle of the ears as a guide, you can attach your eyes, your nose, the round little cheeks, and last of all, those cute little feet. So there you have your Easter bunny cake. I also added a few sprinkles just to add a little bit more colour. In the description below I've put the recipe for the chocolate sponge cake that I used but you can use any sponge cake recipe or cake mix. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching and look out for my next tutorial.